What's up my fish friends, it's your boy Bob. It's a special video because we are finally going to set up this 55 gallon aquarium. I've been putting it off and I know you guys have been seeing it in my fish room videos and it's been empty, but we're finally gonna get this video started today. First time seeing my face, would you guys give it a big like and subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I drop these videos. Enough of that, we got everything we need. Let's get this video started. First thing I'm going to do is just wipe this, some of this glass off because it is a little foggy. So I'm going to go ahead and just wipe it off just so that we got a good clear surface to work with. So the thing that I'm going for with this aquarium is I'm going for more of like a rock type of thing. I got some big stupid boulders right here and I have a bunch of pea gravel right here that we're going to be adding in. So I think the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and just get this gravel in the aquarium and then we'll see where we at after that. But pretty much what I'm using right now is like just some basic old pea gravel, nothing crazy. You can get this at like your local garden stores or hardware stores for dirt cheap. Uh, it don't, they cost nothing to get this. That was one big old bag. Let's see if I can add this to the aquarium without breaking something. <laughs> uh, That's a humongous rock. Like I said, I want to do like really big rocks in here because I kind of want to be like a natural big rocky type vibe that I'm looking for in here. So we'll see. But I have what, four more pieces of rock here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them guys in here and see how it looks. So, as far as filtration, this is the filter that I'm going to be running on this aquarium. This is a Fugo 306, um, up to 300 liters, 70 US gallons, canister filter. I actually got this. Let me show you guys. I got this. This is um, some more beneficial bacteria, some biomedia, and some like floss. I got all this for $50 on Facebook Marketplace. I had to go pick it up because this is type of filters are very expensive not cheap at all so i couldn't pass it up i pray that it works but we're gonna find out right now hey that i got this from she said that it hasn't been used it still has the stickers on it and pop this box open and i pray that this thing works nice little canister filter right here i thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger than that but it says that it fills up to 70 gallons it's a 55 gallon aquarium so um, it should do the job I guess it is brand new. It come with everything still in the box. You got all my attachments right here, my downspout, everything I need. Just bust this thing down. Oh, this thing has, it's only a three stage. I'm seeing only three trays in here. To make sure that I have my O-ring and I don't. So we need to get this O-ring on here because if you don't and you try to get this hooked up, you will have water everywhere. Okay, so we finally got the canister filter hooked up. The return is right here, and the draw is on this side. If anybody have used this canister filter, uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this filter. It seems pretty cheap, to, in my opinion, um, but who am I? You know, I'm just an average guy who just likes fish, you know? Go ahead and just get some water into this tank, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the hose, and we're gonna start filling this beast up and see where we at afterwards. Okay guys, so it's the next day and the tank is finally filled up. Um, I didn't record anymore yesterday because it got late on me. The filter's hooked up, everything's running real smooth. When I say this came out really, really well, 
it's crystal clear already i know i was talking big smack about that canister filter but it looked like it's working pretty well and the flow is super good um way way better than what i had expected that you guys can see all that water flow i am going to add um, a wave maker in here just to get some more water agitation going on there's escape came out really good i like the rock work and i wasn't too much of a fan of the background but i guess it flows and if i always want to change it later i can do so can't wait to add some fish to this aquarium it's going to look really really nice in here i'm going to just sit right here and just look at the fish like i stated i'm going to be adding two of my clown knights i have two clown knights will be going into this aquarium and possibly my jack dempsey that is in this pond over here if i can get them out without having to just destroy this aquarium um this pond i mean if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy how this aquarium came out make sure you guys give it a big like and let me know in the comment section what i should do far as scape do you guys like this scape do should i add any plants what should i do uh, i might i know i'm going to add some homework in the corners back corners just to for filtration and for aesthetics looking i like greenery in my aquarium um, so i'm gonna add a little bit of uh, homework but other than that it won't be too many plants going on because i'm gonna have big fish um, but i like that i like to have plants in my aquarium let me know in the comment section what you guys think i hope you enjoyed this build and I can't wait to add my clown knife and possibly this alligator gar if it's still available when I go pick it up. We'll be getting that for this aquarium. But that's my time. I'll holler.